DirectFix.com presents the iPod Nano 7th generation take apart direction. Fix your broken iPhone 4 or 4S for under $100 with parts from DirectFix.com. Use coupon code YT7 and save 7% off your next order at DirectFix.com. Warning, this content is intended to be used for informational and entertainment purposes only. You are using this video directions and its content at your own risk. X Micro Solution Inc. makes no representation, warranties, or conditions of any kind expressed or implied. Following these directions on the video will void your warranty you are performing this repair at your own risk. After completely powering off your iPod, begin by removing the small cover on the bottom using a case opener tool. The Bluetooth antenna is adhered to this cover, so be careful not to rip it. Underneath this cover, there's a small tab secured by one Phillips screw. Remove. Behind the tab are two small Phillips screws used to hold down the screen assembly. After removing those two small screws, use a case opener tool and carefully pull up the screen assembly. Disconnect the LCD and touch panel ribbons from the motherboard. Pull the battery off the back of the screen assembly. At the top of the iPod, remove two screws securing the power button. Peel back the power button ribbon. Remove three small Phillips screws holding down the volume control buttons. Remove the volume control buttons. There are five screws holding down the motherboard, headphone jack, and sync and charge port. After removing the screws, use your case opener tool and pull out the headphone jack.
You can then remove the motherboard with attached volume control power button ribbon and headphone jack. Remove six small Phillips screws, three on each side, from the screen assembly. Remove the LCD from the screen assembly. The fully disassembled 7th generation iPod Nano. For all your cell phone parts, accessories, and service needs, go to directfix.com now.